Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to The Cozy Christmas Cottage. So I usually tell you about my shirts before we get started with the tutorials because I have so many questions about them. And I've already featured this one today. I will link this down below too, but today I wanna to show you my adorable slippers. So I got these last year and again, got so many questions. So I wanted to tell you about them right now because you can actually get these monogrammed and it takes a little bit of time to get to you. So if you're looking for something cute for the holidays that has the personalization on them, now's a great time to order them. They're also from a small business too. So make sure to link those down in the description box. But today, speaking of time, usually we don't have a whole lot of time when it comes to the holidays. And I have a great solution for you, especially if you're still wanting to make the holidays special and personalized. Today, we're gonna tackle some really quick and simple projects that you can make for Christmas time. And they are only all gonna take you about five minutes to make. So let's go ahead and dash right into our first quick and easy project. And we're also gonna keep these projects extremely affordable as you can find a lot of the supplies at Dollar Tree or already laying around your home. And at first you're gonna need a piece of scrap wood or Dollar Tree carries these amazing planks of wood that are about five and a half inches wide by 11 inches long, which is gonna work perfect for this Christmas tree we're gonna make first. You're going to also need some acrylic paint in a brown color. This one is the color traditional burnt umber in an acrylic paint. You can find this at craft stores for under a dollar too. Once you have your plank painted, we're gonna come in with a white paint pen or a white chalk marker. And to create a simple Christmas tree, you just draw a line straight down the center and sort of create these little fanned pieces off to each side. You can also embellish your tree more if you'd like. You can add a little star to the top like I am to the top of this one, just coloring it in with that paint pen. I will also make sure to link all of the supplies that I'm using in this video down in the description box in case you don't have them on hand already. And you can stop at this point if you like the simple look or if you wanna add some more embellishments to it, go right ahead. I think it'd be cute to add some little ornaments to this tree or like I'm showing you here, this is some velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I just tied a little piece around the top to give it some color. And here is our simple and quick little Christmas tree wood sign. I think these would be so cute to create different heights and sizes and different styles of Christmas trees to kind of make a set too. Up next, we are going to make a little snow scene with a mason jar. You're going to twist the top off and use some Epsom salt to add as the snow on the inside. You can find this at Dollar Tree too. Just pour it in so you have a couple inches covering the bottom. Then we're going to add some snowy Christmassy scene items to the inside. All I had on hand were some small bottle brush trees that would fit in here, but you should also check the aisle where you can find miniature snow village items like snowy characters, snowmen, little kids on sleds, and really get creative with the items that you can add on the inside of here too. And these are LED lights that are battery powered you can find at Dollar Tree. I'm twisting that around my hand so I can kind of fit it inside this jar, tucking it down in there and kind of spreading them out so the lights will uh, cover most of the inside. You can add your lid right back onto the top there and turn your lights on to get a pretty snow scene that takes no time at all. And keeping it with the mason jar theme, we're gonna create some ornaments with just the lids of our mason jars. Maybe you have a bunch of these laying around, but if not, you can also find some on Amazon and on Walmart. I will link a couple options down below. And this first one, we're just gonna use the lid part. We're gonna take this outside and use some spray paint, a chalkboard spray paint, giving them a couple coats to create a center of our ornaments that will be a chalkboard so you can make a permanent design like the Christmas trees I'm showing you here. Or you can also use regular chalk and 
change out the seams on the middle of these and then you can hot glue them into the bands of your lids and then at this point you can really get creative you can add some ribbon around the edges if you want to cover the sides up like i'm showing you here you can also leave them plain just add a loop of ribbon to the top of these so you can hang them on your christmas tree we will soon be counting down the days until Christmas over on the Cozy Christmas Cottage Instagram page, so make sure to come over there. I'll link that down below. There's also a couple other ways. Actually, there's a lot of different ways you can also get creative with these mason jar bands and lids too. This one, I'm just wrapping some ribbon around and around the edges so it looks a little bit more festive. Adding a little bit of ribbon to the top of this so it can hang. You can add pictures to the insides of these. You can also wrap the outsides with some of this wired garland, which you can also find in the floral section at Hobby Lobby and Walmart year round. I'll try to link those down below too and make sort of a miniature little wreath that you can use on gifts and packages and your Christmas tree and your Christmas decor. So lots of ideas with using these inexpensive lids and bands of mason jars. This welcome hoop is also from Dollar Tree, but if you cannot find these or you haven't been able to find them, you can also use a simple embroidery hoop instead. I'll link some options down below as well. Those are super inexpensive and you kind of get the same idea. And then you don't have to have the welcome in the middle if you don't want. We are going to add a couple sprigs of evergreen using some wire to wire these onto the bottom of the hoop and just a couple pine cones to the center to kind of cover up any of the wire that was still showing. Just as simple as that to create a simple wreath and you can make these in lots of different sizes depending on the size of embroidery hoop that you use and also the different types of embellishments you might use too. But this is such a quick project, just a little bit of wire and hot glue to create your own simple holiday wreath. This is also a project using a piece of scrap wood that I just painted white, but you can use plain wood, just grab some and go for it. Mine was a little tall and I didn't want to cut it down, so I had these Merry Christmas wood pieces from Dollar Tree on hand. Use some pop dots to add it to the top. That's just gonna kind of take up some of the room at the top of my sign. You can skip this part altogether if you want. This just saved me having to cut down my sign and I really liked the addition of this little embellishment at the top. And what we're gonna do is create a quick and easy nail art at the bottom of this. So these are simple nails that I grabbed from Walmart for only about a dollar. You're only gonna need five of these nails and we're going to hammer them into a star shape because we're gonna make a star out of ribbon. So you can see I started at the top center and then did the bottom two points and then the side two points. And then you can use whatever kind of ribbon that you'd like, either a satin would be really pretty because it would glisten a little bit or I'm using my velvet ribbon. I really love the texture of the velvet ribbon at Christmas time. You can see here, you don't wanna hammer these nails all the way in. You wanna leave them sticking up so our ribbon has something grip to grip onto. You'll take your ribbon, pick one of the points and tie a knot of your ribbon on there so it will stay in place. Leave a little bit longer of a tail too and then go ahead and wrap this around the next little nail so that way you are creating that star shape when you kind of go around the nail it will hold it in place so it doesn't fall off and then you come right back down to that first point and tie a knot
definitely check out the calendars at Dollar Tree or even any store. A lot of these go really inexpensive after the start of the year too. This one of course was only a dollar from Dollar Tree and the December calendar month has a cute mason jar that says Merry Christmas on it with some greenery and pine cones in it that I loved so much. This is the quickest and easiest thing. I'm using a Dollar Tree picture frame and we're just gonna insert that picture to the inside of the frame, but we need to cut down this piece a little bit because obviously it's too big to fit inside of our frame initially, but all you have to do is cut it down. I'm using a paper trimmer for this. You can use scissors too and cut it down. Mine is an eight by 10 size. So a quick way to create some inexpensive Christmas decor and even one that you can switch out month after month for each season and holiday. This little pack of decorative fillers is from Dollar Tree and I love the pine cones in here because they have some glitter on them. We're gonna make a simple pine cone ornament. You can also use pine cones that are larger or that maybe you even find in your yard. Just make sure to bake those pine cones before you use them to get any bugs out, but you can use natural elements too. I'm using five pine cones that are about the same size and gluing them into a star shape. Then you can just add a little piece of red and white twine to the back of there to make a loop so you can hang it. And then to the center, I also added a little jingle bell just to kind of help keep them all together, but also give them a little bit more of a Christmas flair too. You can use these as ornaments or you can also use these as embellishments on your gifts or even on your wood signs. Please hit that thumbs up button if these quick projects inspired you this holiday season. Subscribe if you are new and I'll have more five minute DIY projects popping up on your screen you can check out next. And I wanna thank you all so much for joining me here at the Cozy Christmas Cottage.